too close. Hey, superstars, this is my June recap. It's about a week early, but I've got some family obligations next week, and I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to make a video, so I wanted to get this done. We've got an exciting announcement, a VR for Double D Vintage Baseball Cards, an SGC reveal, some care packages, and some pickups. It's been a super busy month, lots of stuff to cover, so let's do it to it. This Saturday... <clears throat> This Saturday, the... Nope. I don't know how to say Saturday. This Saturday, the 25th at 2 o'clock. Hey, that's tomorrow. Ooh. Anyway, tomorrow I've got an hour on Hobby Palooza with my good buddy Fourleaf. We'll be doing live dueling doodles. We did it last year and had a great time, so we're excited to be back. Uh, all the Hobby Palooza streams will be on the Bench Clear channel this year, so I will leave a link or something below or up there or wherever i hope you can check it out we might even be giving away some stuff wink wink dylan at double d vintage baseball cards quickly shot up to 500 subs and they're well deserved because he's just really fun to watch he's given away some neat handmade frames for graded cards and to enter all you have to do is show off what vintage cards you might put in them it's a really fun idea but you know what? That's enough of this pretty face. Let's see some baseball cards. So this is my card stand that Don's Field of Dreams card sent me a while back. I keep it on my desk and I usually display my newest pickups on there, so I like switching things out frequently. So here are a few of my loveliest cards that I love to look at and they would all spend time in a frame if I'm lucky enough to win one. So here is my T206 Addy Joss. Diamond Stars Earl Averill, so neat. Uh, play ball, rollicking Raleigh Hemsley, 48 leaf Jim Hegan. Beautiful cards don't have to be superstars, but sometimes they are, like this 53 Bowman Bob Feller. Honestly, I didn't really like this card until I owned it. Now I love it. That's a lot of SGC love. So here are some PSA cards 54 Red Heart Al Rosen, 57 Rocky Calavito Rookie. And the greatest card ever made, the 1959 Topps Destruction Crew. I have a few of these, but this is my only slab one. So I hope these are double shocker worthy, Dylan. Congrats, sir. I have a really small SGC order reveal. If I were a good YouTuber, I would have done the blind reveal thing on camera. But there were things and stuff and excuses, you know. But it's only three cards, so I hope you'll forgive me. Here is my 52 tops Al Rosen. I was hoping for a five, but I wasn't that far off. Uh, Mangini's going to be annoyed with me because I graded my Venezuelan Bob Feller. I was thinking it was going to be authentic, but it got a one, so I'm happy about that. And here's my 1921 Trist Speaker from last year's National. Not surprised or disappointed that it got an authentic. It looks great in the tux. And I don't grade a lot, but if I have a raw card that I really enjoy and I want to give it a little extra special treatment, then I'll do it, sometimes regardless of condition. These might look nice in a double D frame too, I'm just saying. But enough of that, onward. Here is a care package from Joe Biden, apparently. Exciting. No political comments, please. Uh, Joe uses purple tape, just like Tony Black. Uh, it says, Mr. Reindeer Studios, I bet you thought you'd never get mail from the White House. I am the coffee boy in the White House and on my way to become president in 2032. Here are a couple cards from my LCS, including a cookie rookie. Go Cubs, go Tony. All right, I am looking forward to that election. These must be bribes for votes. Here's Sandy, who just celebrated his birthday, just like Tony did. Ryan Webb Prospect, Jimmy, and there's the Cookie Rookie. Very cool, Tony. You've got my vote. I still have my little baseball diamond from Lou Rock's video response. This is from my BFF, Austin Farmer, who's been thinning out his collection. It says, I hope you've been well. I have. I can't wait for another season of 118. Um, we'll see. It's been hard to keep up lately. He also sent some Ron Gant cards to help me get my TTM card back. Thanks, Austin. Uh, sweet Brett Butler auto. Another Brett. Oh, wow. Albert Belltop's tribute autograph. Austin, you're too kind, sir. That is insanely awesome. A couple of Clint Frazier's. Ooh, Savali first Bowman autograph. He's been struggling and injured, but I still really like his stuff. Uh, sweet Joe Carter. And here are those Ron Gant cards and a couple more Joe Carter cards. Thanks, Austin. Really, really awesome stuff, buddy. I am honored that you shared these with me. 
This next pack of shenanigans is from Mr. Jason Aaron Goldberg. Jason is always looking for stuff to give away to others. I know a lot of us are, but uh, it's really cool to see. And Jason is a very good dude. You are a true superstar. Love your artwork and hope to commission something from you someday. Aw, thanks, Jason. I am so close to finishing the Grail Quest commission, so hopefully I can open things back up a little bit soon. Let's see what we got here. My birthday buddy, I love lamp. I love lamp. Shiny Jimmy, 74 team card for the binder. Frankie Refractor, Sandy Sr., that's neat. Uh, some 73s. Ray Fossey, Jose, Sandy, and little brother Robbie. Biebs, Jose, Sutcliffe, Jose, Kenny, Albert, and Cookie. Here's a really neat Mojo 87, Jose. Uh, red framed Andre Jimenez, who might make the All Star team this year. And look at this awesome sauce. Very cool Biebs autograph. I love it, Jason. Once again, way, way too generous. Thank you so much. All right, one more care package. This one's from Andy at Flying Dutchman Cards. These are my spoils from his second annual Packapalooza live stream a couple of months ago. 90 Fleer, yuck. Here's a uh, pack of 92 Pinnacle. I'll save that one for later. Some oddball goodness, the uh, Morgana All-Star Game. KB Kings, Keith Hernandez, Neat Cy Young. Wags, Larry Doby, Stan Kovaleski won three games in the 1920 World Series. Uh, Tris, Lou, Al Lopez, Dandy reprint, Joe Adcock, Al Rosen, Swell Al Rosen, and a Luke Easter reprint. Those are really cool. I, I love the oddball stuff like that. Speaking of cool, here is the Flying Dutchman sticker and an oddly wrapped pack of 1990 blech. Oh, phew. Some uh, 22 Heritage, 22 Series 1, and a gold foil Austin Hedge is very cool. And I'll open up this top big just for giggles. We got... Greg Swindell, and a bunch of guys. Very fun, though. Thanks, Andy. Pickups. All right. Uh, Math Bowler came by to visit one day, so we hit up a card show, ate some barbecue, and went to my LCS Triple Play Vintage. Inspired by Lou Rock, I picked up this Lou Boudreaux relic. Uh, I like this Stadium Club David Justice Archives autograph, and I picked up a bunch of singles from my 70s binder, including this Rick Cerrone rookie card. I didn't think $15 was too bad for that one. I bought these Josh Naylor Tops Now cards after he hit a grand slam and a three-run homer, collecting eight RBI after the eighth inning to help win a ball game late. My buddies and I each have a guy on the current Guardians team, and Josh is my guy, so I had to have that. On a different trip to Triple Play Vintage, I bought a box of Tops Kids. The owner, Terry, knew I'd been looking for one, so he set it aside for me and gave me a really good deal. These are really cool cards, but unopened boxes and packs are weirdly expensive. And finally, this was from eBay. It's a 1949 MPN Company Larry Doby. I know Larry's not the biggest name in the hobby, but I'm also fairly certain he wasn't a white pitcher with the number 57. I don't love these cards, but I find this one super interesting because of how lazy they were with the set. This was the same illustration they used for Johnny Vandermeer in 1943, so it's pretty awful, but pretty neat at the same time. That is it for now. I'm tired of yapping. I need to congratulate and thank Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. Thanks to Tony Black, Austin Farmer, Jason Aaron Goldberg, and Flying Dutchman Cards for the great care packages. Thanks to Math Bowler for coming out to hang out with me for a little bit. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see some of you tomorrow in the live stream. And yeah, that's it. There's nothing else. And I need a nap.